Hey guys, so I'm gonna try and do this two ways um, so that I can see comments at the same time. Let me turn my volume down so I don't hear myself echoing. Say hi when you hop on. Um, so I'm doing something I've never tried before. Sugar, I almost spilled stuff. Um, but you can't see me other than me saying hey. But I thought I would go live because I, I don't know. When it's been a rough day and things are going crazy, I like to, um, I've been finding painting is fun. Hey Beth. But I wanted to try and do something a little patriotic considering if anybody has seen my story today, um, my poor husband lost two more people that he knows. A good friend of mine lost her husband. Um, so it just, it's been a poopy day. So I had inspiration to do, and I've never done something like this. So we're gonna work together here and you can see how I do this from basically start to finish. I already re prepped all my surface, or prepped my paints. But in case anybody's wondering, I make it with um, the paint and uh, flow trawl. So whatever color I'm wanting to use, I then use um, flow trawl and that paint. And I usually do a 50-50 mix. Some people do um, a two to one ratio. Some people do one to one. Some people do a three to one. It just depends, but I prefer doing 50, 50. It works good for me that way. What I'm doing now is just putting a light, um, base coat of white on just to kind of get it towards the sides. I haven't decided how I'm going to do my red, white, and blue as far as colors go. I have them prepped and mixed. I just haven't decided what style I want to do. If I want to do um, a dirty pour, if I want to try and stick to like a striped flag kind of look, which I'm really considering doing. Again, something I've never done before, so I'm going to try it. The cool thing about acrylic pouring is you truly never know what you're going to get. It could be the most amazing thing ever, or it could end up being a total and complete disaster. Um, it really just depends. This particular canvas is 16 by 12. Um, so hopefully, it will, I normally don't prep my canvas on video either. And I do do videos, but I pre-record them and then share them. But I thought I would get on and say hello to everyone while I did it, plus it gives me something to do and talk to myself, kind of, or say hey when you hop on and I can say hey because I have it running on my iPad. So, this is basically what I'm doing. I am first just layering, putting a good base coat down, um, as you can see. Just a, a, a slight base coat so that everything will run smoothly along the sides when it gets to that point. And uh, yeah, so we'll go from there. So I think I am going to go ahead and stick with the, hopefully a flag look. Again, I have never done this. So hopefully I don't bomb it. But uh, I'm just feeling very patriotic and peed off at what's happening to our military. So I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna paint because that always makes me feel better. So I have a regular red, which hopefully you can see. Um, it's just a bright red. And then I have a metallic red. So it has a little bit of a shine to it. A regular blue. And then a metallic blue. And then I am going to put, so they, if you want cells, which are like these big circle things, um, they're pretty awesome. You wanna use silicone of some kind. And I have found, based off a group that I'm in, that coconut milk hair serum works amazing. So I'm going to put three drops in my blue and my red, not the metallics. 
and I'm just going to give them a light stir so that it doesn't, you know, spread out too much, but just so there's some kind of consistency there and hopefully I'll get what I'm looking for. And if not, then I will just hopefully have something pretty to look at. And I'm not gonna put any in my white. So I am gonna start with the red, white and blue idea. Well, the red and white part. So I'm gonna start here. Hopefully do this in a way that's gonna work. So red. Again, I have no idea what this is gonna look like. And I'm gonna try and do a swipe pour, which you'll see in a minute. So there's red. I'm gonna do a little bit of the metallic red just to kind of see what it's gonna look like. And then another strip. And it's okay if it gets on the white part of the canvas because like I said, I'm gonna swipe, which you'll see what that is in just a minute. And then I'm gonna do a little bit more red, the regular red, ooh, a little thick. There's a bug. Let's see if I can get this to, there we go. And then I'll do one more across the bottom. I'm just hoping that that metallic red, you know what, I think I'm gonna do a strip of regular red down the middle of the metallic, just so it doesn't turn pink on me. Because I definitely don't want it to be pink. That would kind of ruin the idea. And then right through here, like so. And then I'm gonna take some white, even though I have white as my base, I am still gonna take some white and put, you know what I'm forgetting? Gloves, normally I'm wearing gloves for this. I'm gonna do some white through here, a little through here. I'm gonna put it in between each red just to make sure it stays. And again, it helps with my base coat. Ah, some dripped. That's okay though. So let's hope. If it doesn't turn out how I wanted it, at least it looks like it might be pretty. We'll see. And then I'll do one more down through here. Now, I've got baby wipes out here for this very reason, so I can get the excess paint off my fingers since I forgot gloves, um, which I really probably should get. So now with a swipe, I've never tried this either, this is gonna be new for me. You take a damp paper towel, which I already pre-did a couple before I came out here, because I'm in my garage, so please don't mind the mess. And you kind of just lay it like this, and you pull it across. And now I will go the other way. Well, actually, I could probably go long ways with it, but I won't do that. Let's see if I can fold this up. I'm about to get really messy. And then pull it across. And I have more paper towel. And what I think I'll do is we'll go this way and pull it across. It's more of the look I was looking for. And then I'm gonna do that again towards the top. Do you see those circles that are coming out? Those are what I meant by cells. Those are the cells that um, will pop out with my silicone that I put in. And I'm gonna go one more time this way. And we'll see how that looks for now. I may want more than that um, because this particular area right here probably needs to be swiped this way instead of that way. But I don't wanna ruin it too much. So, I wonder if a baby wipe would work. We're about to find out because it's pretty damp, right? So let's see if I just swipe it 
like that. That did a little bit. I'll wait. So now we're gonna go and do blue, which for this, I'm going to just alternate the regular blue and metallic and try really hard. I'm gonna start at the end of the red and go the opposite way and go the opposite way. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want them to mix. And then I'm gonna do the metallic in between and on top a little bit. So in between here, in between there, in between here, here, and then we'll do one more quick this way. Now, now let's see if I can swipe this. This might be a little different. <sighs> and I'm coming at it from a weird angle because I'm coming from the end of the table. So we're gonna, actually I want to tilt this just slightly. And the reason I'm saying that is so that that blue shifts over some. So I'm gonna tilt this just a smidge and then go back this way just a smidge. And you can kind of see, and now I will swipe. And when I swipe, like I said, I'm taking just the edge of a damp paper towel and I'm swiping. This one may be a little bit harder and I'll have to do it several times because of its location. So let's try it with a baby wipe since those are out here and I don't have to go inside for these. Cause like I said, I'm in my garage. So we'll try a baby wipe, see if that helps. You can see some cell action right there, but I want a lot more. So that's definitely not what I wanted, but I like the way that's blending right there. So we'll leave that and you'll see cells there. I just don't want to mess this up. So now we're gonna go back the way I was saying, like I said, over to my left, your right. Place it and swipe. Now, oh no. That's okay, because I can hopefully get that to run off down at the bottom. So then what I will do is I'm gonna run it this way Reason I do that is so that it covers the edges, but I don't wanna do it too much, just enough to get it to start dripping over the edge, like so. And I will tilt it up just slightly because my bottom corners over here need some paint. And then of course I will go back up to go that way. And this turned out way better than I was expecting it to. Um, give me one second though, I'm gonna get my torch because I want you guys to see what happens when I do my torch with it. It'll really bring out the cells in it. decided I'm going to use my heat gun instead just because that gives it a little bit more heat which I need and of course because I'm in the garage and not in my normal painting place I apologize I now have to plug it into the wall and use an extension cord no biggie but I really want to see what this can do. I mean, it's changing even with me just not touching it. 
but I do want to add a little heat. Like I said, um, it's the same as a little hand torch. I use that a lot, but I'm gonna use this right now. Uh-oh, why aren't we working? Not cool, friends. I need it to work. This is why I normally work in my office. All right, let's see now. Uh-oh. Well, this is not the way I wanted this to go. Welcome to live video. Things not working how you want them to. Okay, change my mind. Let me get my torch. I apologize, guys. As you can see, though, that is changing while it's just sitting there. idea who took my hand torch. Lord knows I have plenty of mischievous kids around. So what I'm going to do is just tilt this back some because I, oh, but you don't want to do it too much. And there are a few places that are, it looks like I may not have had enough paint or then I did have enough paint. I'm not really sure what's going on over there. But you can also touch up with your finger. This side's good, it's the other side that's an issue. So we're gonna go back this way. And like I said, I don't wanna tilt it too much, but you can go across it with your finger too and kind of fill in the missing spots um, and go from there. But I really don't want to mess with this too, too much just because I really actually like the way it turned out. So I am just gonna put a touch of white there. Then I may touch that down the sides with red so that, you know, the paint runs the way it's supposed to because right now it's kind of funky. Or I could just add more red, we'll do that. Because if I add more red right through here, it will run down the sides. And I don't have to worry about it. So there's that. And I can do the same across the top of here where it's not running across because I have like just enough to do it up here. And I can stop right about there. And then I can finish it off with the blue up here in this top corner. And I can actually make this a little bit more profound. Whoa, might have been a little too much, but nothing a swipe can't get rid of. Because I really want this to be like perfectly even. It's not going to happen because it is paint and it's acrylic and it's mixed with Floetrol, so it is gonna move. Um, but you don't want it to move a ton. So, let me swipe this. Oh, look, I got two baby wipes. I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, I get so nervous. If I wasn't a perfectionist, this wouldn't be such an issue. But I am, so it's an issue. And with abstract painting, it's not meant to be perfect at all. So, I'll try it one more time going the other way and then I'll have to find my stinking hand torch. 
And it's still grabbing that red, but you know what? I think it kind of looks cool like that. I don't know, what do y'all think? Like I said, abstract painting is not supposed to be perfect, even though I tend to want it to be perfect. And I'm folding this so that I can get that back off of there. And then do just a regular swipe. I think paper towels work better. So let me get a paper towel because the red and white looked really good. So let me get a paper towel real quick. If you get bored, you can just disconnect. That's fine. Okay, sorry guys, so everybody kind of left. I was looking all over for my hand torch that I can't find. So since I can't find it, I will just have to leave it be and use the heat gun inside. So, okay, so I want to do just this one side part. So I'm going to attempt to rip this into a smaller piece so I don't mess up anything else. And I want to just swipe right here. There we go. You guys probably cannot see it, but I can. And I'm gonna try it one more time, right in the middle. And we are gonna see what happens. So, the only thing now is getting it to run the other way just a little um, I can put blue there I was really hoping that the torch would appear somewhere I don't know why the hand gun is not working or the heat gun I should say but it's not and I really don't like that it's still not I want to see the bubbles. And for those that have ever done this before, y'all know what I mean. Maybe I gotta bring it back the other way. Well, let's see what happens. It's not gonna give me bubbles. And I know why it's not giving me bubbles, because I need to blend it with heat. And I don't know why my stuff's not working. But, oh, you know what I can do to get that paint on the side? I'm so stupid. Watch this. You can dip it in the paint on the table. Oh, no! That's what I didn't want to happen. Run back the other way, Blue. Not that I can't fix that. And I can fix the bottom too, but I kind of like the way it's looking. Um, minus that little bit of blue. What can I do to fix that? Add a little white maybe. Maybe. 
there's definitely not enough blue up here in the corners. I could really just do this. And I'll worry about swiping it again later. I'm getting paint everywhere in case y'all didn't know. And I'm probably gonna walk away from it here in a minute because my perfectionist behavior is starting to kick in and I need to just enjoy it where it's at before it gets super screwy. So, we'll do that. Maybe figure out why my hand, or my little gun is not working because that's not a cool thing either because it should be working out here. My kids didn't leave their stuff all over the place. Let's see if I can get it to work. Mm. Test. Reset. Mm. Oh, it's not going to work. So, I guess I'm stuck not showing you all what it looks like torched because I have no idea where my torch is. One of my awesome children probably took off with it. Um, but this is what I'm trying to do. Oh, I did bring out the other paper towel. So I'm gonna try this one last time right here. And this is gonna be it and I'm gonna leave it alone before I get mad at myself. And we are going to swipe. Is definitely forming bubbles not bubbles <laughs> like little cells if I could just get the rest of them to do that we'd be in good shape but I do want to, sorry that white blob that I know you all can see I am gonna to attempt to fix that right now because I just don't want that there I just wanted to cover up the blue so we're gonna swipe uh oh we definitely don't want blue Come back, swipe, and swipe again. I'm really digging that, actually. So, all done. I'm not screwing with it anymore. I hope y'all enjoyed watching me take away some of my stressors, and hope I taught you a little something. If you liked it, share, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.